Hey everyone, it's me Kim from Fragrancy Blog and today I'm going to do um, a review I have been really looking forward to because today I'm going to tell you what I think of the new um, Chanel perfume, Gabrielle. I know that there are already a lot of reviews about of this um, scent online and also quite a lot of perfume bloggers tweeted or said something about it but I wanted to give you guys my own opinion and if you are interested then please keep on watching and if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe if you want to have more updates on fragrances or reviews and um, subscribing is completely free um, lately I've been hearing quite a lot of people saying that they don't subscribe because they think it is like a subscription you have to pay money for but that's not the case at all it's completely free and now i'm gonna continue with my thoughts on this one so um chanel gabrielle a scent i have been looking forward to for such a long time um I love Chanel scents and for those of you um, that are new to my channel I absolutely love Chanel number no. 5 um, I'm currently having the Eau Premier version from 2015 but when that one is finished I'm going to buy the classic number no. 5 and if I'm lucky I want to buy a vintage one because um, that's just a little bit more intense I also really like Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum but anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about Gabrielle. Um, Kristen Stewart is the face of the campaign. Um, I don't think she is like a Chanel girl, um, to be honest. I really liked Kira Knightley for Coco Mademoiselle. I think she's really classy and sophisticated. Um, but yeah, for some reason they decided to go for Kristen Stewart. Um, and she is the face of Gabrielle. Now this scent is described by Chanel itself that um, it's supposed to be a new Chanel fragrance with a different uh, bottle design because also the gloss is a lot thinner than the older bottles. Um, and I will insert a picture of the bottle, how it looks like and it's designed so that the light um, that captures the glass will like shine through so now we just are gonna talk about a scent and Chanel Gabrielle is described as a floral perfume with notes of jasmine, orange blossom, um, ylang ylang and um, tuberose so it's definitely a floral scent um, if you are not into florals you are probably not gonna like this um, I think that this is a very um, modern take on a Chanel scent and I kind of feel sad that they um, did not create a perfume that smells a little little vintage because some of the Chanel scents just have that very I don't know, nostalgic kind of uh, vibe to it. This is definitely, definitely marketed for more young, youthful, um, maybe your first Chanel scent. Um, and I also think it really reminds me of Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. So I'm actually wearing a perfume already. I'm wearing Guerlain Le Herbe Bleu, and I'm actually really in love with that one. So I'm gonna make a separate review about it. Um, so I'm going to spray it inside this envelope and um, I got this from work by the way. Um, I'm currently uh, starting a new job as a perfume advisor and um, yeah we got a goodie bag last Friday when we had our first work meeting and there was this one already inside of it. Um, it starts very fresh. And it has that same kind of freshness like the um, Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum I already own. It is a very um, happy 
and bright and uplifting and I think it's a really good summer or springtime scent. Wouldn't wear this during like winter time because I will definitely go for another perfume also from Chanel but I think you can just really smell that this is a new Chanel scent and this is uh, modern and really created for 2017. Um, and it's, it's just, you can smell that this is um, a Chanel perfume because it has that same um, powderiness I smell in a lot of Chanel perfumes. Um, it's very difficult to explain, but please guys let me know in the comments if you have the same experience as I do with Chanel scents. It has that, I don't know, I just call it the Chanel powderiness. Um, it starts just very bright, very... Mm, it's just, this could be a perfect scent to just buy as a gift. Because I think a lot of women would like this. I can't really see why people would dislike this, to be honest. Um, it's just a very mass-pleasing scent. Um, and I know that uh, Coco Mademoiselle is right now also be worn quite a lot. Um, I smell it at least once a day uh, when I travel with like public transport or you know go to the mall. Um, and I think Coco Mademoiselle is, has a little bit more of an edge to it. And I find this one to be just very fresh. Um, really about like new beginnings, um, fresh starts, happiness, brightness, um, just a very modern kind of floral perfume. Um, the price for this is a lot more expensive than um, the other Chanel scents and I think it also has to do um, with the new bottle design, like I said before, with the new material and maybe because a little bit more expensive ingredients because I know that um, on the Chanel website they say that there are like it's like jasmine from grass that's inside of this um, if I'm correct so maybe that's a little bit more expensive I don't know but um, it doesn't smell expensive and that's the thing that kind of bothers me to be honest because I think Chanel perfumes really smell expensive just like Guerlain scents. Um, yeah, it, I think it could be the downfall of this scent or it can make it extra special. Maybe it's like a marketing strategy or something, I don't know, but um, you can get this one at your local perfume store. Um, it's released 1st of September, so um, and of course there are a lot more expensive scents from Chanel, like the Le Exclusives line. And these are a little bit more different and um, they are definitely beautiful. I will make also a separate review about them. And I think this is just, it's just a very happy, friendly Chanel scent. Um... And I like it. I like this. Um, I just think it's very... If I had a daughter and she would like turn 16, I would give her this one. Because um, I could also go for the La O number 5, but I find this one to be more like a perfume on its own, not a flanker. Um, I have the feeling that there might become like... Uh, maybe like a Gabriel Noir or a Gabriel Intense. Um, and if I think about that, I imagine that they add like more vanilla or patchouli. And it would definitely be more my kind of perfume. But I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's just a beautiful Chanel scent. And um, I just expected it to be more heavy and more intense. But yeah, that's just me. Um, maybe it's just because I really hoped for it. 
Um, so yeah, not sure if I would buy a bottle of this, to be honest, because um, there are some new releases I think that are more unique. But this is still just a very beautiful scent and um, it's still very Chanel. It's really just, it stays close to the brand and like things they've done before, but in a slightly more modern way. So yeah, that's my interpretation of um, Chanel Gabrielle. Please let me know in the comments, what do you think of this scent? Um, have you already smelled it or maybe not? Maybe it's like different everywhere in the world. But I know that in Europe they launched on the 1st of September. Um, so yeah, please let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already didn't. Bye bye.